So the greens and the blues are pushed further and further into Istanbul and they push ever so closer to the presidential palace from where they need to capture the Tan Prime Minister and yet it just ticks the reds off just to watch this happen because they don't want the blues to get hold of this city and the greens and the blues have now finally tied the knot and become allies so the greens are now supplying the blues with more supplies which means the blues are going to have access to like better tanks and better guns and stuff for the future so let me know in the comments what sort of weaponry we can give them so anyway the reds continue to do their military drills off the coast of the red territory and the greens and the blues push ever so closer to this um, tangerian prime minister well, he is Tan, not Tangerian, so hopefully they can cause him to separate from the oranges and become his own state again. And that way the greens and the blues can then pull out of Tangeria, go home, and then watch Tangeria fall in on itself. So watch the Tans fight against the Tangerians. So tell me what you think about that as well. But that will also make them avoid a war with the Reds, because the Reds are so close to setting up some missile defenses right here and aiming them at Istanbul. So anyway, I'm going to hover over this city now and we're going to be watching as the blues and the greens try to take this presidential palace. So I do apologize about the sound quality of my voice in this video. You can barely hear me because of the combat around me, but it's super action packed and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. So if I shake my cursor like this, we're going to zoom right in to the battle. So here we are on the battlefield and we can see that the greens are pushing further and further into the city of Istanbul and their next target is this presidential palace and we can see that the Tans and the orange forces have dug themselves in pretty good and we're just going to be stopping the green and blue advance. So we've got the greens advancing from this angle over here and we have the blues advancing from this angle right here. They're going to be approaching with a lot of armor and a lot of infantry so this is going to be a very interesting battle and I have no idea no idea who's going to win this battle so let me know in the comments who do you think is going to win this battle so like I say the main objective is to try and find and locate the Tan Prime Minister who is held up in this uh, huge 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 uh, presidential palace right here who is in one of these rooms and so is one of the Tan generals so we need to try and get over there, kill the Tan General and capture the Tan Prime Minister because then we can open up negotiations and see if we can go about turning the Tans against the armies of Tangeria, against the Oranges. So they've really focused their defence on the left hand side down here. They've got a heavy cannon and they're stopping any tanks that come around this corner. We've got a few infantry as well that are pu pushing up on them. They always seem to do that. They always seem to send out just a couple of swarms of men, a few scouts, just to test the waters to see what they're up against. This tank here is getting a little bit confused. It's moving back. We're going to need all the action we can get on the front line, you see. We don't want to leave any stragglers behind because this tank, being back here, could be affecting the battle very, very, very much because the blues will be losing a lot of infantry. So over here we do have a couple of blue patterns, we can see the full symbol on there, <laughs> how cool that looks. And these were gifted to the blues by the greens, because they are sharing technologies now, they have made an alliance. So that could prove to the reds that the uh, blues are not to be messed with, or it could prove to be a, another cold war. So we could see the reds coming into the war any minute now. Green soldiers are moving up. We've got M M14s and a lot of M16s. They did set up these barricades uh, to try and corner them off to stop them from pushing forward and to stop them from retreating. So the only source of reinforcements is from this direction right here for the tents. And you'll see that there's a squad of men that come in every 60 seconds or so to try and reinforce these front lines. A lot of these tank busters, they're doing their job. Have a little look from this angle right here. You can see that the greens and the blues are starting to mix up now. And they've managed to take out this heavy cannon. Is this tank still active though? That is the question. I hope that tank is dead. A little look. 
Okay, so the blues getting stuck behind these buildings. Again, I'm just going to give them a little nudge. Push them over here, there we go. They should know to move in that direction now. If not, we'll just leave them. At least we've got them in reserve if we need them later. But we have got some tanks up here as well that we're going to push forward. So we're going to push this green tank forward here. And we're going to get that one behind it, ready to advance. There we go, look how cool they are. They look so cool. Reminds me of Vietnam. We'll push these guys forward. And then we're going to just let the AI play out most of it. You see that the Tangerians and the Tans are working very closely together. And they're stopping the advance. Focusing on two fronts though, or three fronts. We've got this angle, we've got the centre angle, and we've got this far left angle right here as well. These cool little armoured cars. Very old school. Remind me of World War One. These greens are getting scarily close. Oh, there's a huge clump of them there. So, how is everybody? Has everybody had a good day? I, I know that tonight I spent most of my day watching that KSI vs Logan Paul fight. And I must admit, it was very, very entertaining. I finally got my £7.50 worth anyway. Got two greens back here. Oh, one green back here. Take it out. Got a lot more in reserve there moving up. And here comes the blue tanks. Finally got from behind that building. I mean, realistically, they just drive right through it, but nope, not in the toy world. Buildings are stronger than tanks. The direct hit right from that... Uh... Oh no, it did disable it, look, you can see the mark. Oh, that's awesome, I didn't know you could see the mark. Let's move up some of these blue patterns, if they're still in action. Nope, that's dead. Oh, we're looking here. Nope, both of them have lost their track, so we can see the track there. Been taken out. And now let's see if we can track down this blue Prime Minister. Did I say blue orange Prime Minister? So, where is he? Over here. So, the Prime Minister of Istanbul. I think he's in this back room right here. I can't see. I can't get my camera angle. There it is. You can see it through the window right there, look. Right there. Let's zoom on him right there. There we go. But he's in there with his two bodyguards. Our objective is to capture him. But if we kill him, it doesn't really matter. But we do want to open up some negotiations and try and turn the tans against the oranges. That'd be interesting. Oh, did you see that shot? That was epic. Direct hit on that tank. On the 067. FX looks so wicked in this game. Greens are holding their own. Exchanging fire. Still can't push through this central point right here, though. I mean, what have they got left? anybody on that cannon. Well, there's nobody on that cannon. We're going to get some dudes on this cannon. Because that could help them out an awful lot. Any of you guys, come on, get on these cannons. Get you on there. Get you on there. And we should be good then. That should be a full defence again. Getting a little bit laggy now because of the amount of troops on the screen. If you did miss the previous episode of the Blues and the Greens pushing through the city, then be sure to go check it out, the link is in the description. So all these episodes do link together in a Army Men of War series. And there is also a playlist. So if you guys do want to watch them in order and not miss one, there will be a playlist. And it's called Army Men of War Series 2. And if you do want to go and check out Series 1 as well, there's 60 episodes. We're doing a little bit better now. is looking really good. No idea who's going to win. I only test these battles one time. So whatever happens in this episode will affect what happens in the next. Things are losing a lot of men. A hell of a lot of men. But it's a worthy sacrifice. I mean, at least, at least this time they've got an objective. K 
capture the Tam Prime Minister, turn the Tams against the Oranges, and launch a rebellion within Tangeria. That way the Greens and the Blues might be able to pull out and also prevent a war with the Reds, because if they hold this city for much longer, the Reds may get involved, because they have started mobilising some troops across the river. And so that must mean there's missiles aimed at this city as we speak. coming into the map. Let's just check over here, see if we can get rid of some of this lag. And there we go, that's what we need to do. We need to just move some of these tanks over here. Oh, maybe not. What have I done? Keep forgetting they're only made of plastic, mighty. There we go, that's better. I think I destroyed one of the tanks by mistake, but never mind. Look at that Korean army pushing forward. It was quite even numbers to be fair. The tans and the oranges had a lot better positions. If you notice, the greens have come across open ground, and that's something that they had to their disadvantage. But they still have yet to push through the main entrance of the palace and push into the combat of the halls. So, as you can see, there's a full interior they need to take as well. And they've got to watch them kill the HVTs. There's a lot of war huggers, but I guess they're sticking to cover. They don't want to be hit. Unfortunately, though, they're being shot from that direction, so taking cover right there is not a good idea. I'm going to move a few of them up, advance them just a little bit forward. That way, the rest of the troops might advance with them there. Gets the battle going a little bit better. There we go. Oh, took a direct hit from some artillery right over there. And maybe that's why they're warhogging. They're trying to avoid that artillery. And there is a huge pileup of blue tanks in the central position here. Again, more greens moving up to secure the area. We've got a full-on gunfight right, right here. They're, they're using the tanks as cover to open up on these orange and tan troops. They've lost all of their artillery though, apart from... Oh my god, that's a bit too soon. Direct hit from whatever that was. No idea what that was. Is the armor car still in action? Let's have a look. I think. Yep, the armor car still is in action. Not too sure about the wheels, but the machine gun turret seems to be working. Yep, seems to be working very fine. There we go. And here come the rest of the greens. Pushing up very slowly through these sandbags. And I like what the uh, tans and oranges have done with the sandbags. They put them in a kind of swirly defence formation, and that way you can use them from both sides just in case you overrun. So it works as cover from both angles. But we still have an active Tangerian tank over here. Do excuse the lag, it will die down eventually, but it's still playable. Still getting around 10 frames per second, you know. So we've got a lot of men coming into the map, but there is a limit to them. If the greens run out of men, they run out of men, and if the blues run out of men, they run out of men. As you can see, there's a full division of greens which landed to support the blues. And now I guess it's the greens' turn to die because the blues have done all the dying recently. And the greens haven't done much dying. So here we go. Huge push right here in the centre. They're trying to work their way around this building. And eventually they will. They're going to war hold their way down this, air, this line right here. And this side right here. And take them from two angles. Now the Tangerian tank in the entrance of the palace is starting to open up fire on the greens and also using its coaxel. This is pretty cool. We're going to move out some of these armoured cars for the Tans now to give them some support. There we go, we'll get one there. These are going to act as little bunkers. Get this one out as well. Like I say, do excuse the lag, it will die down. Just pretend it's slow motion the amount of troops we have on screen at the minute. And we've got another one here. I'm going to leave one in the... Yeah, we'll leave one inside the compound itself. So if we press pause, we can have a little look at the action. 
And we can see that the Greens are moving up very fast on the central position right here. But they're taking some fire from some artillery. I don't know where the artillery is. I think it's that artillery right there. Although it's not aiming at them, so it might not be them. It might be this guy right here. But again, there's no artillery. Where is this artillery coming from? Unless it's this tank. It might be the tank. There's numerous positions that the Tangerians in the towns could be using to hold back these green forces. So let's unpause it. Get back to the battle. Really love these sort of battles. They're so fun to watch. And also fun to play as well. It's fun to watch them take take control of certain areas. Because as we can see, the uh, Blues have stopped advancing their troops now. And it is primarily a green assault. This could be good. Tans are still holding their own though. Really surprised that this uh, this armored car right here with the turret has not been taken out yet. I was expecting that to be taken out a lot sooner than what I thought. Got a lot of greens, and we've still got the whole compound to take. So the battle is not over yet. There's so much more to come. What an exciting um, battle! This is really cool. I think if we have a look in here, we can see one of the generals. I think there he is. I think I think that's the orange general in there. I don't think there's a window, but he is in there somewhere. But I don't think they dare advance. They've been suppressed too much. And they're using these blue tanks to their advantage. Just trying to get as much cover as possible because they had no cover to begin with. There was no craters, there were no sandbags really. It was literally just open ground that the greens and the blues had to cross try and uh, take these tans and orange it out. And more of them approaching the battlefield. A good mix. They must be scrambling from all of their guard posts around the city. And this is on the edge of the city, so once this is taken by the greens and the blues, the city belongs to whoever took it. But I do know that the greens are gifting the city to the blues, so all of its... Uh, you know, infrastructure, it's factories, and, you know, maybe they could move some blue civilians in here, use up the space, and it's also a huge strategic advantage if they were ever to go to war with the Reds. Huge. Which may provide to, um, it may be a bit threatening for the Reds. So let's just hope they don't get involved. But like I said, if we can convert the Tans, and turn the Tans against the Orange Nation, then we could maybe pull all of the Greens and all of the blue troops out, and watch the Tangerian nation divide and become a rebellion. That'd be really cool. I think that was suggested to me by one of you guys the other night in a live stream. And they're all grouping up. They're going to advance any moment now. They're just deciding when to move. Oh, they nearly moved then. Oh, he didn't last time. He got sniped. But they're getting very close. I think what I might do is I might give them a little nudge again. Again, I'm not taking too much control, but I want to try and get this battle over in a, within at least 20 to 30 minutes. Otherwise, the video is going to be way too long. There we go. I like to keep the episodes 20 to 30 minutes long, on average. Oh, some a bit, um, um, some, some, some around 10 minutes as well. If it's like a cinematic or something, 10 minutes is fine. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer longer videos or shorter videos? Because if you guys wanted me to record two episodes in one, rather than splitting them up, it could be arranged. So just let me know. There we go, that's what they needed. Look, that little advance and all the rest of the greens are following. So, but is that enough though? Is that enough greens to take the presidential palace? I have no idea, we will find out. And the lag is dying now. Look at the sound of these M14s. Not giving up. I mean, who are they exchanging fire with now? I mean, there's just a handful of Tans over here. Just the one Tangerian. He's blocked off the entrance like a good uh, armoured car. And also parked on his side, so we've got two machine guns right there. And we've also got one on the front and one on the other side, so that's quite an armoured car, that. Number 879, I'll remember the number. There's so many stories within the story. Got more greens advancing through this direction now. 
And this could be good. They are war hugging just like I said they would. But now we're going to be able to take this uh, town position from both angles. Like I say, if these greens do run out of men, they run out. And unfortunately, it'll be a tan victory. Unless your team tan, and that's good for you. This turned out more epic than I thought it would be, though. This is a really, really cool battle. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, they've got any more tanks. Just look how many dead there are. There's so many dead. I would highlight them, but they stand out so well. The Greens look lost a lot of men on this battle. A hell of a lot of men. Let's see if we can push some tanks forward. No, he's done for. He's still in action. We're going to push this uh, pattern through. Again with this one, so we're going to bring up the other pattern now. And it's just a matter of running these through the wall and creating multiple entrances to take out these... Uh, Remainder of the Tangerians and Tans. What are we doing on this angle? No, he's taken out. I think that's all of them. Not too sure if we have any more blues over here. Or we'll go into the tank back here, but uh, he, he's for some reason he's like hiding. I don't know if he's playing hide and seek. Got a few confused blues and one confused green as well. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get around that building, which will work eventually. They'll end up coming out this side right here. But not a bad strategy after all. How are these tanks doing? So here come the patterns. This is just what we needed. So we're going to aim this pattern. We're going to blow a hole in this wall. So aim at the wall, target it any minute now. No, just waiting for it to reload. And now, there we go. We've got a hole in the wall. And now it's a matter of getting all the leftover troops. So all of you guys, I'm ordering you to this position right here. So if I can get them to this position, hopefully they'll do the rest on their own. Okay, we've got a lot of men, we've got like a platoon of men in the centre, just cleaning up. Oh, we could direct it on them armoured cars, and there goes them armoured cars. They're left with just the one armoured car and this tank in the background right here. Green's doing very well, we're going to move this platoon of men up as well. They appear to be doing nothing, so we're going to move them up to about here. See how they handle the situation. So all this fighting, and we've not even broke through yet. We've got two blues there, look. They're like, I've lost contact with my regiment. I have no idea where they are. It's like, because my good man, they're all dead over here. Uh, they're very lucky, them blues. What are the names? Let's find out the names. Surviving blues. The Chuckle Brothers, look. They're right here. Howard Mills. And Stephen Graham. Did they win? Stephen! I've got some greens coming up to support now. So now it's up to them to advance through this gap in the wall right here. Oh, they have got some fuel, but is there a tank? There's a tank there. That is unmanned. There's an unmanned tank. I think I'm going to rush some tan soldiers into that tank. Because there is no reason for it to be unmanned. So you two, the general has just ordered you. Look, you can see the general. Look. Him right there. And I forgot to name him. I was supposed to take a comment out of the last video and name him. So I will out of this video. So in this video, in the comments, name this general one last time. And I'll choose the best one. The one that gets the most votes will be the name of the general. So we'll put him in there. Now it's just a matter of time. I didn't realise how many greens are actually left. That's quite a few. Maybe just enough to take the building. So let's push up this pattern as well. So this going straight through the wall, that's what we need. Like, we can't take it, we need to call in the tank. Let's call in the big boys, call in the big boys. The Chuckle Brothers are doing very good right here, look. It's like, to me, to you, to you, to me. Well, here we go. And that's just what we needed. Or maybe we could actually roll them into the building. Oh, did you see that, look? That 50 caliber just pissed right through that. There's no match for this tank. Again, let's finish it off. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can go straight through the walls. No! No! Penetration! We took an interior destroy. That was a good shot. What did the damage? What did the damage? It was that tank. I forgot about this tank. We still have one pattern left, though, so... This could be alright. This could be okay. But we're gonna order you to go and take that. They've got a Tangerian tank moving up now, though. 
Is he going to go straight through the wall? No, I don't think he's big enough. Oh, he is. Okay. Yeah. You're never too small to go for a wall. So this Tangerian tank is one man armying it. Look, look. He's straight out there. This is insane. The green's not even managing to get inside the palace. But this is not good. This is not good at all. Is there any more green reserves? That is the question. Right, we need all the greens we can get. Oh, look, we've got artillery as well. Are you? No, you're dead. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing, soldier? Slacking, we need you on the front line. All the tanks we can get. But as for the Tangerians and the Tans, they seem to have held the presidential palace. We almost got inside. We could have saw some interior combat. Uh, let's have a look what we're up against. But the roof just disappeared, look. And you see there's a lot of infantry still inside. So because of the current situation, I think they can afford to take some of these infantry from the inside and put them outside and support the troops defending the outside of the building. So they're going to put some troops there as well. I think that's what they would do, you see. Because we've run out of infantry. We've got this one tank left, though. We'll see how well this tank can do. But at this precise moment, it doesn't look, look like we're going to be able to capture the Tan Prime Minister. And like I say, in every video, I let the AI pretty much decide the outcome. So it would have been really cool if we did capture the Tan Prime Minister. And I do have a whole storyline planned out if they there was to capture him. But unfortunately, they haven't managed to capture him. And they've not even managed to get into the Presidential Palace. I think that's the worst, yeah, that's the worst damage they did, which wasn't too bad. But we do still have a tank, so let's see how well this tank does. Let's just put a few holes in the building first. Go and get him. That's a cute tank. I don't want to get him killed, that's the only thing. Yeah, if we get the AI to do it, they can direct it on that tank right there. I think we're clear. We've got some more green. Oh, we've got. We forgot about the soldiers. The soldiers. Here we go, look. This could be the team which storms them. We've got reds, not reds, we've got blues and greens. But this could be good. And we've got a tank for support, so it's not the end for the greens yet. They might just be able to capture uh, the Tan Prime Minister. Pretty cool. So the blues were holding back. They've held back like two squads of men. But now they're all approaching, and it's going to be... A really cool battle. Oh, look at that. Barrett hit on the tank. It's about time they took that out. About time. So now it's time for you to come and take out this thing. So watch this. The 50 cups do all the damage. Oh, look at this. I'm not even controlling that gun. That's AI. That is pure AI. Oh, let's, use, let's run it over, look. Yeah, you are no match for us. And here we are. We're in the entrance of the building. So this could be good. This could be really good. Bring up what's left of the soldiers. I think we've got a blue tank or two over there as well. We'll try and bring them forward. I'm not too sure if they're trapped there. That's the only thing. We've got a lot more infantry. So now they're bringing all of the reserves. And that's quite a lot of reserves. What are they doing under there? I think they're in the building somewhere. No idea why they're in the building. Oh, we've got another pattern back here as well. I had no idea that we had this one. So this could be good. We might just be able to take this, uh, this presidential palace. So we're going to be seeing some room-to-room -room fighting now. Oh, let's get in there. Go, go, go. Got the orders. Now all we have to do is charge, so let's blow a hole in there. That was terrible. Oh no, it actually took a bit of the roof out. It got a bit of the roof on this side, unfortunately. But let's check out the action. See all the tans. And I don't think they're prepared. They don't seem to be prepared. Let's just run in from room to room and check out the action. Uh, we're going to turn off the silhouette. The silhouettes are annoying. There we go. I think we just heard an explosion out there somewhere. I think what would be really cool is let's just roll this tank right through the building. We're going to go right through because these blues are getting their asses kicked. Oh, here we go, look. Oh, this is just what we needed. Oh, this is epic. Go, 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 go. Oh, and here's the town general. Here's the town general. Should we do it? Let's do it. Oh no! Go, go shoot, 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 shoot! Oh, straight through! Is the town general dead though? That's the question. Oh, he's, he's blew himself up. You see that? It's a bit like that scene from Saving Private Ryan with the sticky bomb. 
Okay, so this tank is is a hero really, because the rest of the green soldiers are moving up now. And that's just what they needed. Now we're gonna put them through that entrance this time and see what happens. So let's bring these dudes through this way. Now we can see some proper fighting. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. Right, okay, I need to inspect the area. We need to find the Prime Minister. Obviously, I think they're generally dead now. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. The chief dude. What? He was hiding in the doorway the whole time. And he's armed with a pistol. I'm just going to pretend the tank hasn't seen him. Now he's just shooting through the doors and the windows. Just making sure there's no soldiers um, being able to get to their posts. Doing really well. And he comes to the remainder of the Greens. And this looks to be the end of the Siege of Istanbul. This was a really cool battle. It was like a three-part series. Let's go through here. And uh, push on this back room. There we go. We can see the um, Tan Prime Minister and his two, two guards right there. But the objective is to capture him. But if he does die, it's very unfortunate. Then what we could do is we could roll him through. But you know, that will risk the... Uh, Prime Minister being killed, I think. Oh, we've got Tans everywhere. Yeah. Oh, as for you, my son, come on. Dude, get on the ground, get on the ground. Okay, I, I, I see a general, we need to capture him, dudes. Right, you guys get behind him. That's it. Oh no! Oh my god, that was unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. Out about the, that tan right there. There's a tan in this room as well. We've got a grenade. Let's get a grenade through. Get a grenade through that window right there. Through the window. Did that go through? Oh my god! Oh my good god! I did not mean for that to happen. But they, he did manage to get the tan. Killed a lot of his own troops though, unfortunately. Yes, uh, that's why. He, that's why I shouldn't take control. But I had no idea the grenade was going to do that. So not my fault. I'm insured. I am insured. Let's finally roll this guy through here. And I think we're good then. I think we're good to move in on the Prime Minister himself. Yeah, this could be good. This could be good. Watch out the way. There's rubble falling. No, that was not me that killed him then. It was this dude right there. So let's have a look at the Tangerians. We've got three men guarding this room now. And we've got two officers and the Prime Minister himself. We could just roll the tank in, but I think the rubble might squish the Prime Minister. So we're going to have to move in what's left of our troops now. Oh, we've got some Tans over here. Let's try and get him over there to rescue. Um, rescue the Prime Minister. We've got a squad of men. We're going to put them there. See what happens. As for the rest of these guys, let's just get them and charge them into the back room. But I'm not going to I'm not going to double click twice. I'm going to get them to move up with caution. Turn these silhouettes off again. There we go. Okay, that's not good. Thanks to all them. And here comes the rest of the Greens. So I really want the Greens to capture the Prime Minister, but they don't seem to be uh, able to at the minute because those Tangerians are in a really good position. If anybody tries to come through this room, they get killed. I might risk it in a minute. I'll tell you what, we're going to watch it from the tank's perspective. We're going to see how well these Greens do. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, he managed to kill one of them. He's got the rest of them to kill yet. Got the rest moving through the building now, including a couple of blues. Screw it, should we just do it? Let's do it. Let's go, 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 go. There we go. Don't kill him, don't kill. Oh, that was so close. He's still alive. He's still alive, right. Bring, bring him in, bring him in. Secure the Prime Minister, secure the Prime Minister, we can do this. There we go, we're in, we're in. And who's the man, who is the man that secured him? Let's have a look, let's have a look at his name. Charles Hall, well done Charles Hall, you're getting a promotion my friend. He has secured the Tan Prime Minister. But that was an epic battle, I had no idea it was going to uh, go the way it did. We can see that the Greens took a lot of casualties, a hell of a lot of casualties, and the... Like I said, the battle could have went either way, and I genuinely thought that the Tans and the Oranges won that one. But unfortunately, the Green Reserves and that those Blues that were sneaking around that building, they saved the day. And we also have this tank to thank as well, so let's have a look at the leader of this tank, the driver. 
is Randall Long. So we've got Charles Hall and Randall Long. They save the day. We're now going to take the town prime minister into questioning and hopefully do some do the politics and who knows what will happen. Let me know in the comments what you want to happen. So anyway, a big thank you for watching. So be sure to shoot that like button with your rifle and do drop a bum on that subscribe button because we're closing on 18,000 subscribers. So I will see you guys in the next video.